Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen the introduction of the state management we have seen, right? Now, in this video, what we will try to do is, so just in the previous video, we have just accessed the variable. Now, in this video, we will try to modify the data so that if I modify the data, how the reactivity flows through the all the components so that uh, all the data will get updated or not. Let's try to check, check in this video. Okay, now here in the counter, see we have we are accessing through like this, right? So now now if you see, if you go to the UX installation, so if you go to the state here, okay, single state tree. So that means the data will be in the single place. And here you will be able to see that the data is accessed through the what I can say through the uh, through the computed variables. Why this computed variable is it is the correct way to uh, to get the data. Why? Because if any data is changed somewhere, the computed computer will automatically react to the changes and it will get up uh, and the data will be get updated automatically. So let's try to see in this video. Now here what I will try to do is so I will try to add a button here. Okay, now here button I will be adding increment. Okay, at the rate click dot prevent on increment. Okay, this is the method what I will be using. So, here I can go and I can write methods the list of methods, and in this methods, what I can write on increment. So, how can I update the data? So, as we already know, that we can access the store using this dot dollar store. Okay, this dot dollar store dot state dot count plus plus okay so state dot count plus plus so i am accessing the state i am doing the count plus plus so let's try to see this code so if i try to see this code so we are here we are having the button if i click on this one see automatically the data is getting updated both in both in the app dot view and also in the in the counter also so that means the data when I am trying to change it in the counter automatically the data is getting changed here also. So for example here if you see app view counter okay. So if I try to execute this one if you refresh this one so this is the in, in this app view this counter is there. If I click on increment see both the places it is it is incrementing. I am not passing any data through the props or not I, I am not emitting anything from the child component. So without emitting, without doing the emitting and also without doing the props or otherwise without, without doing the provide inject thing also, I am able to update the data in both the components. Okay. So this is the flavor of the state management. Now another one what I can do is, so instead of accessing the variable like this, okay, instead of accessing the variable like, uh, like this, the correct way to access the variable is, so we can, you can access like this or otherwise you can access so with a, with a computer property. Okay. So you will we'll try to see so many uh, other ways of uh, getting the data also. So in this computed property, you can have variable something like count and here you can return this dot dollar store dot state dot count. Okay. So you can access like this also. Now here I can use directly the count instead of using this all store and all those things. I can directly use this count. Okay. And also here also in the app. The same thing what I can do is here I will be having the computed and here I will be having the count variable. So here I will write write written this dot dollar store dot state dot count. So I can return this one. So now if I want to access this one, so the same scenario I can access using this count variable. Now if we will try to check the output here. If I try to check the output here if I refresh this one, the first time the counter is 2. Why? Because we have maintained the default value as 2. If I increment this one, see the same scenario it is happening. Okay. So, this is the way how we can update the variable. Uh, how we update the variable. So, actually, this is not the correct way to update the variable. So, coming on, we will be seeing the mutations, actions, and these all things you will be seeing. But in order to update the variable, so and also in, access, in order to access the variable, how we can access the variable and how we can update the variable in the state management. Remember that the state management, the data is here. So, the data we are updating it. Updating it here, this the data is not present in the counter component or otherwise in the app component. The, the variable data is not present in any of the components. It is present in the single centralized place that is in the store. Okay, so we here we are updating the data, and if you want to get the data count variable, you need to get it from the store only. Okay, so this is the beauty of the state management. Okay, this is the way we will be updating and also getting the data using the computed 
and also using that uh, this dot dollar store so the same like same thing like this dot dollar router this dot dollar route so this dot dollar store also will be available whenever uh, when when you use this app dot use dollar uh, web dot use of store means that this dot dollar store will be made available in every uh, in the entire project okay so this is about the state management getting the data and also the setting the data okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you